Welcome to another video from EarnPad.com. I am Stevie B. I hope everybody is doing great this evening. Tonight I am on Monria. I'm actually technically in the caves below Monria. This is the first cave. Um, you'll notice the first teleporter is here and I am here. And I am just slaying Shagoth left and right. So, why am I doing this? Well, this is a video I've been meaning to put out for a while. Some of you are probably familiar with it. Uh, a lot of you, especially the newer players, might not be. So, there is something rather unique with Monria. Uh, yesterday, I did a video on one of the daily missions that you can do up here with crafting and the 75 peck reward for engineering. So, my engineering is so high that whenever I got my reward for that 75 peck, it was a whopping 8 points of engineering. And like I said last night, that's kind of how it goes. Uh, whenever you very first start, your engineering is low. 75 peck is a whole lot. As you continue to grow it, each point is worth less than the one before, or more than the one, it's worth less than the one before, more than the one after it, right? So uh, I only got about eight, eight and eight and a half points from that 75 peck. So while here, I decided to go ahead and look for some of the chapters of the Order of the Elder Gods. So you can see in the upper right hand of my screen, this is a mission I have had for some time. I just haven't really worked on it. But it's a very unique mission uh, because if you can find all four chapters, you get these horns that give you a 3% reload speed. So think about that. If you're willing to pay 7 800 ped for an Ares ring that gives you 8% reload speed, getting these horns gives you an extra 3% for free. Now when I say free, there is a cost to it. Obviously you have to be able to find all four chapters. So let me explain a little bit about how this works. So you get the mission, and there's four different chapters, four different mobs. And essentially you just go hunt until you find a chapter. Now the problem is, the chapters are a rare drop. As you can see, I have killed, I'm on stage four of the Shagath mission, I'm on the 5,000 kill mission, I'm 1,500 kills in today, and as of yet I still do not have chapter one. Um, still looking for it, so <laughs> kind of a pain in the butt. Um, there's no way to tell when you're going to get it. You could get it on the first kill, you could get it on the millionth kill. There is no way to tell. Uh, I do have friends that got chapter 1, 2, and 3 pretty easy. From what I hear, those are the easy ones to get. Chapter 1 is obviously giving me quite a headache. I still do not have it, but I will eventually get it. The hardest one is going to be chapter 4. That's the one everybody seems to have problems with. I'm kind of hoping that the RNG gods are shining on me and they're making chapter 1 hard for me and chapter 4 will be easy. Now the cool thing about these horns is when they're equipped, they're part of your outfit, and like I said, they give you an extra 3% reload speed free of cost, right? The only cost you incur is the cost to actually acquire them through hunting, and again, if you're hunting correctly and doing things right, you're going to be selling that loot, you're going to be making profit along the way, so they are essentially free, it's just a matter of how much time and energy you have to put into getting them. Now, you will actually receive an item in your inventory when you actually end up looting the chapters. The chapters are tradable. However, if you buy them from somebody, you cannot turn them in. The only way to get the horns is to actually loot them. Um, you've got to loot the chapters. Now, you can buy them to put them on display in your apartment, but it does not you no good for the mission. The only way they will count toward the mission is if you personally are the one that loots all four chapters. There have been a lot of players that have done it. And the really cool thing is, it works with certain pieces of armor without you having to take the armor off. So like if you've ever seen the Viceroy armor from Arcadia, uh, which I will probably making, be making videos about in the very, very near future, uh, Viceroy armor is very popular and it's upgradable. The nanites are very, very expensive, but you can upgrade it. It is soul-bound armor. But the cool thing is, like on the uh, Viceroy armor, you can actually have the helmet equipped and the horns equipped at the same time. So you don't necessarily have to pick one or the other. Now, that it does not work that way with all armor sets. There are some armor sets that you cannot have the horns active and the helmet or the face mask active at the same time. So it does have its drawbacks, but given what it is and what it does, um, very, 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 very helpful for a lot of players, especially if you're going to be a hardcore grinder, especially if you're focusing mainly on hunting and you're trying to get that reload speed without spending a ton of money doing it um, because it pairs nicely with other stuff. So it's very, very similar. I don't have it on me. I put it in storage. There's another uh, set of horns you can buy. It's the Berserker uh, helmet, I believe, flimsy. It's a limited item. 
and you can buy them on auction pretty regularly for two to four hundred percent markup and they do increase reload speed three percent it's a lot uh, it doesn't sound like a lot but it really is the problem with those is they're in a limited item they've got a whole lot of markup and as they get damaged obviously you're losing that value uh, the horns are a little bit different and that they're not a limited item they're unlimited and once you've got them they're yours um, now do they need to be repaired or not that is a question I cannot answer because I don't have a set yet. I would imagine they work like any other equipable piece of clothing and either they act as armor and take damage or they take damage when you put them on and take them off. Uh, it would be very weird if they were just there and took no damage whatsoever. That would not be a very entropia thing, but I guess it is technically possible. So that said, is this something that new players should do? Mm, if you're a free-to-play player, I would probably not go this route. Now, if you happen to be on Monterey for an event or something, go ahead and get the mission. Because, like I said, you never know when those chapters are going to pop. But if you're a free-to-play or a low-depot player, and you're looking for a way to, you know, get that extra reload speed, this could be it. But the question is, how much are you going to have to cycle? How much time are you going to have to spend here to, to make it happen? And the answer is quite a bit. For new players, the hardest part is going to be, even if you can get the first couple of chapters, the first one or two, um, as you go, as the you get to the higher chapters, you're dealing with higher level mobs. So to get like chapter four, you might be dealing with mobs that are level 30, 35, 40, maybe even higher. And again, this is, you might have to kill two, you might have to kill nine million, you never know. Well, that's not going to be feasible for somebody who started last week and is still, you know, just now getting started farming e uh, exoswords at North Swamp Camp for Blazer Fragments. It's not going to be feasible at all. That's one of the reasons that I put it off for so long before even really getting started on it is whenever I first came to Monria back in the day, I realized just how overpowered some of the mobs were here compared to me. Uh, whenever I very early on came here, I think I was like a level 10 or 11 evader level eight or nine dodger and when you're going up against mobs are level 35 36 37 38 40 um that's just not going to cut it even with the best armor that you can get you're going to be spending so much in armor repair and just so much in wasted ammunition from having an underpowered weapon not capable of taking them down it's just not worth it um, you see john black knight bonnie's husband all the time he he likes to come here and hunt uh shubs and you'll see him globaling left and right but you got to remember, he's got some of the highest DPS weapons in the entire game. So, of course he can do that. That's uh, a far cry from a new player who's got a Rubio. So, is this something I recommend for new players? No, not at all. This, this would be a complete pet drain. It would actually turn you off to Entropia very, very quickly. And like I said, guys, it is very, very grindy. I am thousands of kills in and still don't have Chapter 1 even. Um, but... If you're a more long-term player, especially if you're a depositing player, and this is something that you think will benefit you long-term, once you've got some skills and some decent weapons, some decent DPS, then it's something that every now and then you might think about doing just to kind of break up the monotony. You know, sometimes one of the problems with Entropia is it just can get very, very repetitive. Sometimes you need to stop and do something else to just keep the game fresh, keep the game fun. Um, you can only sit there and farm exos uh, so long before your eyes literally start to bleed. As I've said many, many, many times on my videos, if you want to make money with blazer fragments, literally just go hunt exosaurs till your eyes bleed. And then once your eyes are bleeding, you know that you're off to a good start. Uh, that's not the end. That's the beginning, right? And this is kind of one of those deals. Um, I've literally been at it this morning for roughly eight hours now um i've you know taken a, a break and got something to eat or i've taken a break and you know done something else for a few minutes but i've been going at it for almost eight hours today and still no chapter and i might not get one today at all i might not get one for several more days like this but my thing is if i'm going to come grind this mission i'm not going to hit two of these guys and then call it a day i'm going to grind and grind and grind and grind until the game beats me this is one of those things where either you beat the game or the game beats you. Now, they don't have to give up a chapter at all. I, like I said, I can kill 30,000 of these things and not get a chapter. I can kill a million of these things and not get a chapter. Uh, it is a rare drop. So, I mean, it's one of those weird deals. It's kind of like Mayhem trying to go for that 5,000 pointer. 
you might get it the very first kill, which I've had happen. You might run 26 times and never get it. It just, that's nature of the beast. So what we do know is that all four chapters are out there. You get one from each mob on Monria. Uh, the only one that I think doesn't have a chapter is the Leprechauns. But all the, the big ones, the Shub, the Yogg, the Shagoth, and there's one more. Can't remember it off the, uh, Cultist. Uh, the Cultist, they all four drop a chapter. I have heard reports that you can get all four chapters from the Shubs. Um, I have no way to verify that. What is known is that there is one chapter from each mob. Uh, supposedly, you can get all four from the shove, but I have no way to verify that information. So guys, I will make this a little bit shorter video than usual. Since I'm here on Monterey doing it, I wanted to tell you a little bit about why I was doing it. And some of you, it's going to be something that you just put in your back pocket for later. Later on in your career, later on whenever you're, you know, over this way or whenever you've got a reason to be here. Um, some of you, this might be something you want to get started right away. It's just going to depend. That's the beautiful thing about Entropia. Everybody plays a little bit differently. I will go ahead and show you in my missions. Where is it? Where is it? Order of the Elder Gods. So this is what the horns look like. Increase reload by 3%. They just look like bull's horns. And it doesn't say if they're armor or not. It does not look like it because they have no protection. So since they have no protection, um, I'm going to assume that they are not armor. I'm going to assume that they're more like a shirt. Now the question still is, do they decay when they're equipped or, you know, when they're taken off? I don't know. Maybe, maybe they take decay when you put them on, take them off. Maybe they don't. But great one, one of those great little freebies to get if you're already going to be doing this stuff anyway. If you're already going to be grinding on Monria, if you're already coming up here to do the dailies, if you're already spending a lot of time here for some reason, then it's a great little extra. There's also a daily for a couple of the mobs up here. And the daily tokens that you get are the exact same ones from Calypso because Monria is technically a moon of Calypso. So they can be used to redeem those cool daily prizes on... Uh, Tally whenever you add them to the rest of your stack of daily tokens. So, you know, like today, I could have just hopped on, hopped on, yeah, I can't talk today, guys. I could have hopped on for a few minutes, I could have done the Shagath daily, and then I could have just logged off, and I could do that every day till I get the horns. But that could take me four years at that rate, who knows, right? So, it's one of those things, kind of handy to keep in your back pocket, and that's one of the things that I think a lot of people forget about Entropia. Remember, I've told you guys in other videos that there is a lot of forgotten knowledge, there's a lot of forgotten game mechanics. People learn stuff and they see it in videos or they see it on the internet and then they forget about it because it's not important right then and there. If you guys will keep some of the stuff in y'all's back pockets, there will be a time when a lot of this stuff will come in handy. There's a game mechanic I was talking to a friend of mine about a while back. You guys have heard me talk about it in game right now. It's amazing that nobody puts this game mechanic to use. Anybody can go put it to use right this second. And virtually nobody does. Not a single player that I'm aware of. And yet it would be so, so incredibly helpful in a very, very specific, very, very frustrating uh, point in the game. And it's just incredible to me that nobody even remembers that it's there, hardly. It's like everybody just kind of is like, er, 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 and forgot about it. So there's a lot of stuff like this, guys. If you run across it in the forums, if you run across it in videos, keep it in your back pocket because you never know when it's going to be handy. Even if this is totally out of your reach today, it might be completely within your reach two years down the road. Um, there was a time where, you know, Mulsivers w were, were completely out of my reach. Any mob at Zykeon was completely out of my reach. They still are. But then there came a day where I had an opportunity to kill a mob at Zykeon. No, it was not a Mulsiver. It was one of the high-level drones, but I did it, and it was kind of like my little revenge on Zykeon for all the death that, and destruction that it wrecked on me for six months. And it was awesome. Um, so there's little things like this, guys. If you will just keep them in your back pocket as part of your arsenal, they can sometimes make the difference between being an average player and being a great player. So guys, this is going to be a little bit shorter video than normal. I have a lot of videos to get uploaded. I've shot like five today, I think, while I've been doing this. 
I'm probably not going to upload all of them. I apologize, the content has been a little bit scarce the past couple of uh, months, but it's one of those things I would rather put out good content than no content. The other thing is, life has kept me extremely busy. I am extremely exhausted, overworked to the max. Got a lot of stuff going on in real life. I've got a lot of stuff I'm dealing with, but it's not all bad. You got to take the bad with the good, and there's a lot of good that comes with it. So in a lot of ways, it has done me a lot more good than anything else has in probably the past 10 years. So anyway, guys, I'll just kind of leave it there for today. If you're trying to make a withdrawal from EarnPed.com, shoot me a message in-game. If you do not get a response, email me at sbrags62 at gmail.com. That's sbrags62 at gmail.com uh, with the subject line withdrawal. And be sure and include your avatar name. Be sure and include your name on EarnPed if it is different from your avatar name. And be sure and include what planet you're planning on being on or currently on and how much you're wanting to withdraw and win. So guys, if you're not able to get me in-game for EarnPed withdrawals, which almost everybody has, but in the rare instance that you haven't, hit me up at sbrag62 at gmail.com, subject line withdrawal, put your avatar name and your EarnPed name in there, and how much you're wanting to withdraw and what planet you're intending to be on, please. So guys, I will leave it there for today. Lots of great things coming for the year 2021, both in... Oh, look there. I just got the chapter. Boop, boop. As I was about to finish the video. Chapter 1, Mission Updated, The Order of the Elder Gods. That is freaking timing. I've literally been at this for hours. And there it is, Chapter 1. Notice it just looks like two little thingies. That is some epic timing right there. So, now we will go on to Chapter 2. <laughs> Why stop when you're ahead, right? Now we get to go kill thousands of yogs. Um, so guys, if you are trying to get a hold of me, like I said, feel free to just shoot me an email at sbrags62. Remember, Braggs has two G's in it. S-B-R-A-G-G-S. -G -G That's S-B-R-A-G-G-S 62 at gmail.com. That was absolutely awesome. I had no way of knowing that was going to happen. Honestly, I didn't think it was. Uh, I was thinking if I didn't hit the chapter... You know, probably within the next hour, I was just going to call it quits and actually head back to Calypso. But now that I hit the chapter, might as well go ahead and move on to chapter two and go do the yogs. So that was awesome because I was literally getting ready to end the video right then and there. So guys, as you can see, it does happen. It is random. There is no way to know when it is going to happen. Um, I am kind of surprised. I thought with it being as rare as it is that I would get the Hall of Fame swirl whenever I got it. If we check the Hall of Fame, let's go to Rare Items. Nope. Oh, that's Item Tiers. I don't think I made the Hall of Fame. In fact, I'm pretty sure I did not. No. But, I do believe whenever you get Chapter 4, I believe Chapter 4 is considered a rare item, uh, or a, a Hoff item, so I believe whenever you get Chapter 4, you get the Hall of Fame Swirl, and if not when you hit Chapter 4, I'm almost positive you get the Hall of Fame Swirl whenever you actually redeem the horns. Um, there are some things in game that are few and far between, but there are things in game that are so rare to see happen or, or missions that are so rare to complete or items that are so rare to uh, actually be able to acquire that you will actually get a Hall of Fame swirl whenever you get it. Um, it's kind of like sometimes with boxes, uh, you'll see people global and it says so-and-so found a rare summer ring or so-and-so found an Aries ring. I've looted rings from strong boxes. Looting a ring does not actually let you global, which is weird. Looting a ring will give you a global message, but it does not let you global. It's kind of a weird deal. So guys, for EarnPed.com, I've been Stevie B, and this has been the first chapter of the Monria chapters for the Order of the Elder Gods. As you guys can hear, Pixie Puppy is not happy. She is getting very upset with me. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it there for today, and we will be back with more great content for you very soon. Have a good one, guys. Smack, smack, sip, sip, F the haters. Take care, Stevies.